In this video, we're going to be having a look at how you can use the Hornbill email routing rules to automatically process incoming emails. So we're going to start by looking at the Service Desk Shared Mailbox, where we have a single email. And looking at this email, there's a couple of actions that you can manually apply, including things like raising a Service Desk request. Now we're just going to move over to the Hornbill administration. We're going to browse through to be able to configure and look at our different routing rules. Here we have some examples of four different rules, and we're going to look at this first one out of, out of office. So this is looking for emails where the subject contains the text out of office. And this is simply going to uh, send any of these emails to a particular folder called out of office within that service desk mailbox. So we type in our subject line and a message into the body of the email and click on send. And switching back to our service desk mailbox, we see that our new email has arrived. And if we look over to this out of office folder, we see that this has been directed to the correct location. Now looking at the next rule, this is going to be one that we can create a new service desk request. It is looking for a subject line that contains the text support me. And this is using an application operation for logging or updating incidents. Now, once this has been processed as a new incident, we want to send this particular email to the deleted items folder. So we come back to our email and we include that support me text in the subject line. Add a message into the body and click on send. Moving back to our mailbox, our new email has been processed correctly into the deleted items folder. And if we move over to our uh, service manager request list, we will now see our new incident has been raised. If we open up this incident and extend out the details, we can see that the content of the email has been automatically populated into the summary and description. The third routing rule here is for updating existing uh, incidents. So this is looking for uh, subjects that contain the text update. So here again, we're going to make sure that this contains update. But importantly, this also has to include the ID of the request that's being updated. And we'll click on send. Back to our mailbox, we see it's been processed correctly into the deleted items folder. And if we go to our service manager uh, request list, open up that previous incident, we'll now see that the content of that email has been updated within the timeline. Now the fourth and final uh, routing rule here is a more advanced function uh, that we can provide. This is a token function where it's going to look for text that sits within a particular position within the body of the email. So this is looking for the text down uh, on the first line and the second word. So in this case, the subject line uh, is not important. Uh, and there's our keyword there, that down in that position, the first line, second word. We send the email. We see that's come across into our deleted items correctly. And we go back to our request list. We'll see that, that our new system alert incident has been automatically raised.